Hello, my name is Peter, and today I'm going to talk about simulation. But first, I'm going to I'm going to create two versions of teaching technique and environment and the feeling, and then and compare which one is better. Okay, so pretend you guys are fourth grader, and then let's begin. Okay, so my name is Peter. Today I'm going to teach you guys about um, selling and buying. So um, I have four products here that each product has their um, own price. So it's a Mike Stern C CD that costs $150. Uh, Lorax Puppet, it's $100. Pen, it's $1. And the real nice glasses, it's $20. So <laughs> this is my shop. Okay, just that question. If you want to buy a thumbed up pen and the glasses, how much do you have to pay me? $21. Correct. Okay, so if you want to buy a Lorax and you only have $50, can you buy the Lorax? I can't. You can. Uh, excellent. Okay, so today we talk how people sell things and we review a little bit of math. So I'm, uh, I hope you guys know how to buy things when you go out to the store and pay the right amount. And if you pay extra, you have to um, make sure the storekeeper will give you some back, money back. Okay, this is the first version. Okay, the second version. Good morning, everyone. My name is Peter, and today I'm going to teach you guys about um, selling and buying. And I have, uh, I'm going to open a store <laughs> that selling really awesome things. So I have a lower X at $100, a Mike Stern CD with signature. A glasses, twenty dollars, and a thumbnail pen, five dollars. And this is my shop. So today I'm gonna sell these product, and I'm gonna review a little bit of math, okay? So, Josh, I'll give you some toy money. Here's my toy money. <laughs> and then come up here and pick the items that you like. really dig in the CD. I clearly don't have the cash. How much money do you have? I got 35 bucks. 35 bucks, yeah. So you can't buy the CD. No, no. too bad. <laughs> Second choice, but I know you like this, but you can't. <laughs> so I'm going to probably have to go. Wait, how much do you pull that? 20 bucks right here. Yep. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you got the glasses. There we go. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay, you can go back to the seat. Thank you. So, the second version is a simulation. What is a simulation? A simulation is... Oh, sorry. A simulation is to create a real world situation and in order for kids to experience this and learn from it. And why is this so important and how um, simulation does is According to Luntz, the author of simulate, simulations bringing the benefit of situated learning to traditional classes, sim, education simulation is to motivate the learner to engage problem solving, hypothesis testing, experimental learning, and develop the mental models. And it also integrated a real world system around us in order to learn without um, destructive consequences. So for example, if uh, Josh come here and you know pay 30 bucks to get a $100 puppet, you know, teacher would say that it's wrong. You won't get caught by the store shopkeeper and they call the police, come and take you away, right? It's okay to make mistake. So do not need to worry about this because it's a simulation. And why should we use simulation? Because um, according to John Chokot, the author of the Effective Use of Simulation in Classroom, a simulation is time for reflection and process with which allows students to share their experiences, assess their learning, and, uh, and um, evaluate their assessment. So um, Josh, just come here and learn how to buy things and how the store shopkeeper uh, sell things and how the money works so he don't need to worry about anything that 
and then he can get the feedback from the teacher or from the classroom that oh thirty dollar you can't buy the puppet you can only buy the pen or the glasses so he learned from really experiencing it and without any punishment so why is simulation so it's such a nice good technique because it engaged the student students are participating and having fun and it it created a real world situation that they can, they really, when we walk out of the classroom, they really have to go to the shop and buy some things. And the, la the last point is, it is okay to make mistakes because it's just a game or it's just simulating the situation. There's no severe consequences. Thank you.